in this module we look at the composition of lipid uh, lipid membranes and also some of their physical properties lipid membranes don't just have phospholipids in them they have other components for example you can see on the screen that there are many proteins that are also part of the lipid membrane the two types of proteins that can interact with lipid bilayer the there are integral proteins which have a domain that transverses the lipid bilayer there are proteins that have a small domain of hydrophobic amino acids that are also embedded in the plasma membrane or lipid membrane however they do not transverse it another category of proteins can also interact with lipid bilayer although indirectly these are peripheral membrane proteins they do not penetrate the membrane however they are associated with other membrane proteins that are embedded in the plasma membrane you will also notice that some parts of this lipid bilayer also have carbohydrates attached to them carbohydrates are hydrophilic molecules they cannot transverse the lipid membrane the hydrophobic part of the lipid membrane they are either attached to the protein molecules which are embedded in the plasma membrane or they can be attached to the hydrophilic heads of the lipid membrane you will also notice that there are little yellow entities embedded in the lipid bilayer that is cholesterol cholesterol is about 25% in many cells cholesterol keeps the lipid bilayer fluid fluidity of lipid bilayer is very important we will see why that is later in this module other than cholesterol there are other components other components of lipid bilayers these are special type of lipid molecules that are present in specific cells or cells which have a specific function roughly the ratio of proteins in different types of cells varies in some cells the number of protein molecules per lipid molecule is about 1 to 25 in other cases it could be 1 to 15 for example mitochondrial membranes have a larger amount of proteins embedded in them in other types of cells the lipid protein ratio might be 1 to 70 for every one molecule of protein there are 70 lipid molecules i would like to also mention that these molecules that are embedded in the lipid bilayer and also the molecules of lipid membrane themselves the phospholipids they are not stationary they move around in the two dimensional space just like a boat or a raft or water molecules they move along on the surface of a water lake also present in this lake are boats these boats are basically lipid rafts in which specific molecules are embedded there are two ways you can attach different molecules to the membranes we will talk about that in the next slide here i would like to mention that the individual lipid molecules not only diff can diffuse laterally in the two dimensional plane they can also flip so what is on in one leaf leaflet of the plasma membrane can flip and become and can be inserted into the other leaflet this happens very rarely for this to happen special protein molecules are needed because remember the hydrophobic heads will have to penetrate the hydrophobic part of the lipid membrane in order to flip so proteins special proteins are required those proteins are generally called flipases as i mentioned there are two ways you can fix different proteins in the lipid bilayer one of them is to attach them with specific cytoskeletal elements we will see an example of that in a later module another way we can fix proteins in in the lipid membrane is by creating lip, lipid rafts or lipid boats we said that lipid bilayer can be thought of as a surface of water in which individual molecules individual com components can move however at specific locations these certain molecules can be fixed so the analogy can be that in a field if you make a if you make a if you make a uh, if you may create erect a fence and you have horses in it these horses can run around in the in that particular area but they cannot go outside the fence 
there, there are different reasons why these proteins are kept in this lipid raft. One of them is these proteins have generally longer transmembrane domain, longer amino acid regions that are hydrophobic, thereby it is favorable for them to stay within the raft region because it is thicker than the rest of the membrane. So it is energetically favorable. So we have discussed two strategies of how you can fix different molecules within the lipid membrane.